Good morning. Can I your resume? So tell me about yourself. My name is Ramya. I am coming from Badrali Kotsukudam. Currently staying in Hyderabad. Coming to my education qualification, I recently graduated in a stream of computer science and engineering. And I had completed intermediate in tribal welfare, Ampampalam. And coming to my hobbies, I am playing chess in a free time. And I like gardening. Tell me about the difference between manual testing and automation testing. Manual testing is a to test the application without pulling it, without to, using any tool is a manual testing. Automation testing is a testing an application with using a tool is automation testing. Manual testing is a cost cost is less. Automation test is cost is more. In a manual testing may not be applicable may not be applicable in a different operating systems and manual automation testing is in, it is easy to test the application in a different browsers. Okay, explain SDLC. SDLC is a process of to develop the software application. In the to develop the application some stages is there. First one is soft requirement gathering. In the requirement requirement gathering the Client will give the requirement to the BA in the form of BRS and CRS document. Then BA will convert the BRS CRS into FRS and SRS document. In the next stage is feasibility study. In the feasibility study, all the managers will discuss about the project, how we go for the next stage or not. Next stage is design. In the design stage, all the uh, all the requirements will gather the. Then next we we'll, we we'll, we'll design the application. That is um, two two types of design. That is high level design and low level design. In the high level design, external specification is there. In the low level design, um, internal internal specification. After completion of design. Go for the um, coding. Developers will follow the design as per the, they will start the um, write the coding. Then after testing will be there. In the testing stage, the um, developers will give the application to the test engineers. Test engineers will check um, find, to start the find the defects in the application. If there any defect is there, then then it rise to the developers. And developer will fix those defects and then give back to the test engineers. After that, deployment and installation. In this stage, um, testers testers uh, uh, application will be move on to the test servers to the user server. After maintenance and after maintenance, in the maintenance stage, if users facing any problem in that, they, they will provide the some support in the application. Okay, explain how types of testing. Types of testing, there are three types of testing, white box testing, black box testing and the gray box testing. In the white box testing, to test to testing the internal code structure is done by the developers and black box testing is a testing an application user user acceptance or user graphical user interface of an application is a white black box testing it is done by the testing units and gray box testing is a combination of white box and black box testing it will done by the developers or Testing okay. Tell me about test cases and types of test cases. Test case is nothing but a test case is a document which will main, which will maintain the all the test scenarios with the step by step process to test an application. Types of test cases: functional test case and the, um, integration integration testing and the system testing. Tell me about uh, what is software testing. 
software testing is a process of checking the um, um, developed software whether it is working as per the client requirement or not. This is called software testing to release the quality product to the client. Okay, we have your interview is over. Good guys.